Hello my friend, my name is Gali and welcome to our creative space. I've already chosen the place I want to start. I picked up a few scraps that I accumulated over the week from my table and I'm just looking how to place them and how to decorate the page. This is a small scrap from my mother's notebook and I really love her handwriting and I like using that. I grab a few scraps and trying to figure out if I put it in the first page, the blue one or the next one. This I'm trying to make a tag. This one is a little envelope. I thought I would make a tip in, but at the end I didn't use it. This is a very antique page from a book, a children's book. And I love it so much, I don't have much from that book, but I still love to use it because it's so pretty. This I cut from, I think, an old wallpaper, I think, I'm not sure. The white with the floral is a very antique wallpaper that I have from long ago and I love using it. I'm a bit of hoarding it because I love it so much. These are just words that I cut from a magazine. This is as well from a vintage book, this image. It's so pretty, I love it. This is just a tag that I made and I decided to put the words behind the tag and not on the page itself. It just looked prettier and the page itself looked very complete with it and just simple tags that I made. I decided to put the vintage book as a background scrap <laughs> and I'm deciding if to use this piece of uh, vintage cloth that I have. I'm also holding that as well and a beautiful lace. I have this cute uh, sticker from uh, <laughs> it's an almond butter that I had and I really love the sticker so I kept it. And I'm still trying to figure out what is missing in the first page as it's still missing something. And now that I'm pretty much okay with how it came out, I'm starting to glue everything down. First, my mom's handwriting, scraps that I have. She always used to do some kind of math. As a kid, I never understood. <laughs> and now I do, but as a child, I always ask her, what is she doing, what is she doing? And I, love, I just love using it. It has so much sentiment to it, so I love using it. I started to glue everything down. I didn't glue it just as it was before, I decided to change a bit and it worked better for me. I love the vintage feel of it so far. So yeah, just gluing everything down. I love this scrapbook uh, typewriter scrap that I have, <laughs> it's so cute. And this sticker is so cute, I'm so happy I kept it. I will staple the sticker the sticker after that because I didn't want it to fall so I just stapled it to the paper. I wanted to use the sticker because I just pulled it out and I wanted to use it but the page was really done in my eyes so I just went through the pages in my journal and decided where to put it because I didn't want to put it back and I just wanted to use it and I decided to use it here and it came out okay. Next up, I took the tag that I made and I gluing the words onto the tag. Now I didn't notice about the sun coming in so harshly so I'm very sorry. It will be until the end. So yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't notice it but and I hope you can bear with it.
So now I'm going uh, picture to the small scrap and to the vintage scrap from a book and I really love how it came out. So here I'm putting some lace that I had and I'm placing it on the small scrap that I made with a picture on it and I tried to glue it really really hard and I stapled it as well so it won't fall down. And then I'm gluing everything down to the page and I decided to staple it down as well so it won't fall down. If you hear airplanes in the background, I'm so sorry, I don't know what's going on, but they're just non-stop. <laughs> then I took a small one-hole puncher, so I can attach the tag to the paper. I decided to put a small tag. I removed the paper because everything was filled with glue. So now I'm doing a bit of journaling and in the next page as well. I ended up just uh, securing everything down and adding a bit of a, a small tag and a small little flower. That's it. I'm attaching the flower with some uh, fabric glue, making sure it sticks down. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> So these are my final pages. I hope you enjoyed this process video with me. Feel free to like this video, subscribe, write your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, maybe you'll like another video that I made. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!